But he was gonna feed the little fella and we might be able to get it on video. But um, anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode on the Rose Loft channel. We'll um, yeah, just give you a run through on how everything's going, how all the babies are progressing, and how the eggs are progressing. Um, picked up a couple, uh, picked up one more off my pop plus another pair. I run through them and I've got to do a, um, I'll show you the uh, two new stock hens <coughs> that I purchased on from the fundraising sale on the weekend. One's flown the 650 mile this year and the other one's flown the, flown the 800 kilometer. She come home second day injured, but that's all right. And she's gonna be in the stock loft there pair of blacks they shouldn't be far off hatching a couple of grizzles these little fellas she's laid an egg i actually floated one of their eggs to another pair because i wasn't really going to let them have around but i'll let her sit on that that single one two nice little grizzles one grizzle bar and a bit of a grizzle check the camera doesn't actually do his check any good it's actually lot darker here on his on his wings than what it looks like on the camera but um yeah, a couple of nice little grizzles i only had one grizzle last year which was this cock bird now i've got two in there i've already got one in the loft and i've got another one in the nest in the shed from the same one in the loft a couple of nice little blue bars blue bar pods it's funny this Mum and Dad both have white flights. This one's a blue bar white flight, no pied on his head. And this one's a blue bar pied, no white flights. Go figure. But anyway. What's wrong, boy? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, a little fire's giving me something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Usually dad gives, yeah, gives you a bit of a fight, but he's a bit camera shy. But the little fella's pretty keen. I don't know if they're trying to hide or... Because I, I try and handle them two little fellas every day, so... Let's see how we go. Into the main loft. I'm just giving them a feed, so... Take that out in a second. Two little fellas down there. I'm hoping they're going to be black. But a um, flyer last night asked for a couple of blacks, a pair of blacks, but I wasn't selling it. I'm not selling a pair of blacks, but I said I'll breed him around of blacks. And if they both turn out to be blacks, which I think they will be. That he can he can actually have both of them. Oh well, yeah, I'll just give them fresh grit this side, fresh grit that side, pink min mineral powder in there, pink mineral powder here, feed, feed. This pair here, they had an egg in the milk crate here, just on the floor. I come home the other afternoon, it was busted up everywhere. Well, we picked up a yellow, which is half sister to the yellow hen you just seen before. This yellow hen, that's half sister, same mother, different father. And where's, where's oh, this little fella here? He looks like a blue bar, but he's actually a, um, he's actually like a mosaic, they call it in racing terms. Well, get him out, you can see, you can sort of see he's got the brown bars. Another nice little fella I picked up off my pop. That's another one up there. And there's a little checker somewhere. Oh, there's a little checker behind. That little checker there. So that one, this one, 
and that one I picked up off my pop in this little saddleback. Probably do two separate videos for the stock ends and the new pair. Go through here, much easier. Look at this, a pair of whisks. Never have I seen a pair of whistle ducks, I believe they are, here. Unreal. There's a few pairs of ducks that come in here and pick up all the grain, but I've never seen this pair. Usually a couple of wood ducks and a couple of other ducks that I'm not sure the name of. Now they're going to go and tune with the chickens. Anyway, back to the pigeons. The two little blue bars they come out when picking in here before. Not much has changed on this side. Uh, this little blue fellow and his nest mate. All these and these. These two here, they were nest mates, but they're not actually related. And that little blue checker follow, which is related to the one on the floor, just been putting them out the front here. Of an afternoon when I let the others out with a couple other little young ones, the the yellow and the little mosaic follow, which is, might get a better view on this one, hang on. That looks terrible. We might get a better view now. Of these bars. A little bit of a mosaic in racing terms. Bars, or they call it recessive opal or indi indigo in show pigeon terms. Big fella. Out. So they got two eggs up here. I'm pretty sure one. Yeah, one's one's this one's cactus. It's no good, but I'll just leave it there now, just in case she gets off the other one. I don't really want her to get off the other one as they walked off their baby when it was trying to hatch and it died. So give them another round. If they're no good on this round, then I'm not breeding from them. Two eggs in here. One pair of blue bars. A couple of nice little mealies. The dad's bred 500 mile pigeons. Mum's sitting in there and another couple of eggs. One, one of the eggs is actually from that grizzle pair that I was mentioning earlier. So. I wasn't going to let them, the grizzles, breed, and I put them, I was going to put both eggs under here as they laid around the same time, but I'm going to let her sit on that one egg now, so see how we go. So if probably another month's time, you'll see um, there'll be a grizzle in here. And yeah, two nice little mealies. Pity they weren't blue checkers, as I was trying to stay away from the Coloured pigeons, even though I've got a couple more now. Yeah, I've got a few blacks. Power out of my race team. We've got a couple of little, little puppies in there. Dad moves. They're, they're for my mate. Down two little fellas are for my mate. Lock it up. Oh yeah, I also got some um, new drinkers. I need to give them a bit of a clean out. But yeah, just put these on yesterday, so much easier. Having them on the outside, the water doesn't spill everywhere inside and can keep it dry as possible. Someone's crowing in here, I'm not sure who. That you miss. So these are the two stock hens that I brought on the weekend. Well, they weren't stock hens, but they were racing, but now they're my stock hens. So this one, the dark checker on the left, flew the 650 mile this year, and she's made it home. Her, parent, her mother is actually an inbred hen, 
retold that's really good that her mother's an inbred hen. So we'll see how we go with these two. And the one on the right is a lighter checker. She's she's um she's the one that come home from Yulo the second day injured. But she's a cracking hen. Absolutely cracking hen. Look at her, look at she can look straight at you and she can see forward like just like that. If she keeps her head still, which I don't think she will, like that. Just that split second there you can see see her looking straight at you. And that's what you want in a long distance pigeon, I've been told. And this is a a pair that I um, picked up, bring down from my pops house. So this hen I brought at a sale back in 2015, and they've actually bred off her. So I thought I'd bring her down here and give her a try with this young cock. She's only six or seven year old, I think. But yeah, he's only a two year old cock. His um, full sister was my pops only bird home from 730 kilometers. And then I've got a, a um, sibling that I got off pop the little checker that I showed you a bit earlier, you might not remember, but that's the um, full nip, little full brother to the little one that I got. They got home from seven, oh, I mumbled that up. So the sister got home from 730 kilometers, only bird home for pop. She came home a week later, but she's still home. That's the main thing. It was a very tough race, under a thousand meters per minute race. Thought I'd just give these two a try and get a round off them and see how they come up. Yeah, that's the new stockies. Little hens come down there. See if she'll stay there. Have a look at her. She's a cracker. Especially in that sun. Bit of glare off her, but she is an absolute cracking hen. Come on, girl. Come on, come on. She seems pretty quiet. Come on, girl. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's like she wants to pair up with me. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting. Come on, girl. Come on, yeah.